Hey, y'all. <laughs> I'm lazy. Don't judge me, okay? My hair is a mess. If I look, if I sit up, I'm really going to look a heart fool. So, anyway, I just wanted to come to you guys and share with y'all my really, really great, 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 great news. I, on yesterday, got free from the bondage of unemployment. And, gee, thank you, Lord. Thank you. Yeah. So, your girl has got a job. Now, I am so excited about this job. I am going to be working at Bath and Body Works. Oh my gosh, right? Right. I'm so excited. So excited. So, um, so I'm, I'm really, really, I'm just excited about it. So anyway, so I wanted to share with you guys the story about how I ended up with the job and you will not believe it. I don't believe it. Okay. So I had to recognize that it was the Lord. It wasn't me. It was the Lord. And, it, and, and wait till I tell you. You're going to see what I'm saying. You're going to see what I'm saying. Yesterday, I'm laying in the bed and like, about like I'm doing now, watching the television. You know what I'm saying? And um, I'm thinking to myself, okay, I've got to go to the post office to mail off something. And I need to go to Wallet World, a.k.a. Walmart. And I need to pick up the new Essence magazine. Like, I need to do that. And I need to pick up some ground beef. And it was something else I needed to get out of Walmart, which I don't remember right now. But anyway, so I was like, oh, I just go to Walmart. Well, I end up going the wrong way. So when I'm leaving the post office, it hits me. Saturday night, my husband and I went to a birthday party. And we met up with this really, 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 really great young lady named Ebony. And... She was giving me all kinds of pointers about starting a business, a nonprofit. I mean, she gave me all this stuff. She was such a blessing to my husband and I. She also works at a store um, in the mall called Francesca's. And so, um, um, I told her, I said, well, I'll be out there Monday to fill out an application, honey, because I need some coins, okay? Even if it's for the season, I can do that. You know what I'm saying? So, anyway... So, uh, as I'm leaving the post office, I was thinking about it. I was like, oh, my gosh, I've got to go fill out this application because I told her I would go fill out an application. So, my GPS, when I when I put it put the address in my GPS and I was thinking to myself, Lord, I do not. Do you understand me? It was raining cats and dogs and people was acting like wild banshees. And I was like, Lord, I do not want to drive these 20, 25 minutes to the other side of town. I don't want to do that. I don't, I don't feel like doing that right now. I want to go home. I want to eat. And I want to lay back down. Because I ain't had nothing to do. And I was supposed to have class last night. Which I skipped. Hey, Dr. Jordan. But anyway. I went on and I just said, alright, Lord. I'm just going to go on out here. You know, believing that you're going to do something today. Something's going to happen today. So I had that spirit of expectation in my heart. And in my spurt. Uh-huh. And so... I'm driving out there, and there's ambulances everywhere. They're coming from everywhere. I mean, there's all kinds of accidents, incidents, fender benders, and ambulances. Okay, so I'm like, Lord Jesus in heaven, keep me. Okay, cover me. Because clearly, clearly there's a lot going on out here. So anyway, so I get by the mall. And, okay, unbeknownst to me, the Francesca's is in the mall. I'm thinking it's outside the mall because I could have swore that I seen a Francesca's before outside the mall because I've only been in this mall. This would have been my third time in this mall. So, um, you know, because you ain't got no business in it. You ain't got no coins. You know what I'm saying? And the other two times, or oh, one time, only one other time. The other time I was in there, I was with somebody else looking for something. So I wasn't even in there window shopping. I was just going along for the ride. So anyway, that's neither here nor there. So I go into the store and I fill out the application at Francesca's and that was it. I didn't ask to speak to a manager or anything. I just gave it to the girl. And she was like, oh, we'll be hiring in the next couple of weeks for the season. I was like, okay. So anyway, I'm walking around the mall and I go into the Bath and Body Works. I seen the little sign, you know, that little bitty, they had a little bitty sign in the winter that says that they're hiring or whatever. So. I went in and I asked the girl at the register, I said, are y'all accepting applications, you know, for, you know, full-time work or seasonal work? And she was like, yeah. So she gave me the application. I stood there and I filled out the application and, um, I went to turn it back in and there was a new girl standing there and she was like, I don't know what to do. So she went and got the girl that was training her who gave me the application. 
And she came back and she was like, oh, well, when somebody's dropping off an application, you just take it and you put it on file. And she was like, thanks, you know, for coming in. And I was like, all right. And um, as I was walking away, she was like, um, they should be hiring. They should be calling you soon like that. And I was like, okay. She was like, well, do you want to talk to a manager? And I was thinking, I said to her, I was like, uh, okay. I mean, yeah, to see, you know, exactly when they're going to be hiring or whatever. So she calls the guy out. And it's a man. He's a, a man. He's the store manager for the Bath and Body Works. And he walks out and he says, um, he was talking to the girl or somebody in the back room. And he was like, you know, I'm not even technically here. But he wasn't saying it in reference to me. You know how you be knowing when people be talking about you, but you know when they not talking about you too. It was like they were having some other conversation. And he was saying that, you know, I'm not technically on the clock. And don't you know he came and talked to me? He took my application and he looked it over and he talked to me. And he was like, okay, so why should I hire you? And um, I told him, you know, that I had, you know, different backgrounds and I've done a lot of different jobs. And, you know, customer service was the, 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 the thread between all of them. And he was like, okay, okay. He was like, well, why do you want to work for Bath and Body Works? I said, because y'all are nice. I said, this is the only company, the only store I can go into no matter where I am, and never get anybody with a funky stank attitude. And I told him just like that. Y'all know I did. And so, um, yeah. So that's what I told him. And he was like, well, what would you add to the team if I hired you? And I said, and he was like, I love it. And he laughed or whatever. And we chuckled, you know. And so, um, and then, you know, I gave him some other reasons. I ain't just leave it there. So he was like, well, do you think you can come back for an interview at 2 o'clock? And I was like, Sure. I mean, I didn't give him the face, but on the inside, that's what my mind was thinking was, oh, cool. You know, and I felt bad because I went, I mean, I had on a nice top or whatever, but I had on jeans and flat shoes, you know. So he was like, yeah, let me double check because I think we got another interview. So let me check. And he was like, yeah, you think you could be back by two? And he was like yelling across the store. And I was like, yeah, I got you. <laughs> I mean, he was yelling at me. I mean, what was I supposed to do? And so I just went to the um, food court and I ate or whatever and um, I moseyed on back. And when I got back, there were two other ladies there. So it turns out that it was a group interview, which I had never been on one of those before. I thought it was pretty weird, but it was cool. So I'm driving home and I just knew the Lord spoke to me clear as a bell telling me they going to call you today. And I was thinking, all right, then let me get to the house. And I had to stop and I had to pick up some things for dinner. And my Essence magazine, since I didn't go to Wiley World, okay. And um, so I stood in line at the grocery store. It was it had to be like 10, 15 minutes. It was one register open and like five people standing around. I can't stand that. I, I can't stand that. So anyway, um, yeah. So I got in the house. I laid across the bed for like 15 minutes and the phone rang. And it was the manager of the store. Another one of the managers calling to offer me a position. So praise God, right? Praise God. I walked into a job yesterday. So that's what happened, y'all. So I just wanted to share that. Y'all, please pardon my laziness. I hope y'all don't unsub to me because I ain't got no pillowcase and I'm laying down. But I do love y'all. I just didn't want y'all to see me in all my nappiness. And I was too lazy to get myself together. You know what I'm saying? So anyway, I love y'all. Thanks for tuning in. Shout out to, not, to all the new dudes and dudettes. Thank you for subbing. Thank you for coming by. Thank y'all for checking out my Fantasia for real reviews. I really appreciate it. I really, 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 really appreciate it. Hope y'all are getting all that you need from those reviews or well, the two that are up. It's your girl, Miss Dina 610. Thank you so much again for tuning in and listening to me blab. And shout out to everybody that enjoyed my blogging epiphany video. I really, really past relationships epiphany video. Thank y'all. You know what I'm saying? It, it, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I enjoyed doing that video, and it was really from my heart. So, this is my second vlog. I'm trying to figure out what the third is going to be. I'm sure something sideways will come out. So, we will check y'all out then. Until next time, guys and gals, don't forget to follow me on Twitter. It's at M-R-S-B-A-G-E-L 628. At Mrs. Bagel 628. Yes, follow me on Twitter, y'all. I'll be on there every now and then. Y'all catch me. But I will holler at y'all next time. Peace and peace. Bye.